uploading them to the YouTube channel right here in this playlist. Okay, whatever, Thursday. And then I'm uploading the full commentary games there. That way you guys can learn how to carry your games. If you just play the way I'm playing, you should win all of your games. Kind of giving you like a roadmap basically to carry lower elo games. Zeke's is just a good item in general. You always want the Glacial Shroud anyway because you have mana problems. And then you just build into Zeke's because it gives you armor and MR. And then an on activation that slows everyone around you. And then does damage for you and your AD carry. What if I play better than how you played? Glacial Shroud item be viable on non-tank supports? No, but all the items that you build on non-tank supports give you mana regen. So it doesn't matter. Coin gives you mana regen, tier gives you mana regen, Ardent, Mikhail's Redemption. They're all they all have a bunch of healing or er, regen built into the their kits. So it doesn't matter. All right, we'll close out the day with the uh, we'll close out the day with a thresh game. I've actually really been liking um, spellbook on thresh. Uh, I don't know why I like demolish, but I've just really been liking it too. That way, like when I roam and I kill someone in a lane, I can get their turret like a lot easier. So I like the biscuit delivery for just like laning, especially since I've been going coin lately. Just gives me a lot better regen in lane. Futures market so I can buy Moby Boots on my first bag. And then approach velocity so when you flay someone or you hook someone you get bonus movement speed. It's actually really, really nice. And then just conditioning for extra armor and MR. Manually banned, Jesus. Why is Gangplank picked every single fucking game? Because he can go kleptomancy, spam Q on an enemy laner, and then have and have a thousand gold advantage at twenty minutes. So it's just like an easy way for you to basically do nothing and then win the game, because you get a huge gold advantage from Gangplank, because he just he just generates too much game uh, money by himself. Yeah, I don't really like Targans as much anymore. It's so hard to proc. And, like, honestly, the extra health doesn't really feel that great.
For the most part in this game, I'm going to be looking to roam. I'll play for lane a little bit in the early stages, and then I'll kind of move around based on what's going on. Try to get my hands on Moe Boots early and just kill everyone in every lane. You ever cut swap what year you cover? No. It's a silver. Wait, you're all silver though. I'm done with that. Don't want to accidentally. Your ADC, what the heck? Yeah, it's a pretty funny name, actually. Autismo Trigger. Alright, war across the bush. For the most part, I'm just responding to the pressure that happens in the lane. So, when their support walks forward, I'm just auto attacking him right now. Just gain as much damage as I can on him. It opens my AD carry up. To either push the wave or to keep pressuring back on them. Because of that, we force them away. We actually hit level 2 before them because we have the push. And now hit the hook. Pop ignite. Play him afterwards. I just get the kill. I was mid going. Mid's kind of whatever. Can look for a hook right here. That's okay if it misses. It's not a big deal. Is that open up an opportunity for me to roam mid? Looks like we're doing a gank on it too. So I'll start walking to this. They might get his flash. They might not. I know their jungler is going to try to counter this, so. Okay. He used Ignite there, so I don't need to use anything. Let's just flay him. We'll auto attack. Look for a hook afterwards. I get the two auto attacks in. Pick up the double buffs. And let's make sure we pick up our gold coin. And then we will just back and get our Moe Boots. Goodbye. I'm unfortunately my AD carry killed himself. That's okay though. I'll hook him up with a lantern. We'll walk back down the bottom. I'll just kill him again. It's fine. Gotta keep walking, bro. Huh. That's actually a really greedy way to clear everything. You just flay him in. Look for a hook again. Toss my AD carry the lantern. Can keep going. He doesn't have flash. So I can flash flay here. Just keep auto attacking. Since I have red buff, he can't escape me. I also have boots right here too. Good. Can get him too. Easy game, easy life. Alright, a common place for people to drop pinks if you don't want them to get spotted early is right here. You can start walking over to this. Start auto attacking him. Play him in. Come here, bro. No way. Oh, wow, at least someone helped me. I'm gonna ignite him, then play him in afterwards. Just kill him. Also, holy shit, my jungler actually just like. Because I think he was mad that I took a kill, so he probably, he probably just like tried to do that to like spite me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy, I'm pretty sure that guy like did that to spite me. You know what I mean? Like he he didn't want to help me. Uh, all right, we'll just get a glacial shroud too. All right. So that's Thresh in a nutshell, uh, right there. We've got six kills in six minutes. Pretty easy, honestly. Uh, at this point in time, I'm probably just gonna walk down and around. Okay, so here's a concept, right? 
It's called ganking your own lane. Basically, I'm not going to go walk into lane. I'm going to walk through the lane, through the river, to look for a gank. Like I would be ganking a different lane. That way, they're more likely to play aggressive since they don't see me in the lane. And then I can just turn the gank since I'm already so far ahead. Alright, their AD carry should have flash now. So I do need to be mindful of that. I've sacrificed a lot of experience to get kills, so right now I'm just going to chill in lane for a little bit and try and get some EXP. Alright, looks like they're trying to step up for the wave. Mostly just stepping back and forth, trying to look for the bard cube, make sure we juke in that. I'm going to wait for the wave to crash, like that. Alright, we walk forward. I ping on my way. We look for the hook. We hit the hook. We make sure we dash out, that way we're not stacked on top of each other. Now I'm just auto attacking whoever I can. Flame in, solid. We're about to have hook up again. Hook afterwards, put a shield on my teammate, cry a little bit. Alright, that's fine. He may or may not have ran into everything. Um, find the jeweler. Maybe I try to gank me. Who knows? I'm just gonna try to get this into the turret. So I don't really care too much about the wave. I mean, I'd like to have the last hits, but I'm a noob and I can't last hit anyway. So let's just get it into the turret so it resets. Uh, all right. There's a pink in there. Let's clear this. La di da da. La di da da. All right, cool. We hit level six. I'm actually gonna rotate mid right now. He's seven. Oh, I just got worded out. That means the gentleman is right here. And say goodbye to your ward. Alright, looks like he smited that anyway. So there's not any way for me to take it away from him. I'll just walk back bottom. My ignite's up and now I have box. So if I hit a hook or anything. Oh, and this is the ganking your lane strategy that I was talking about earlier. So he's pissed as fuck. So we'll just hit the hook. Play him afterwards. Try to give my AD carry the kill. Good job, AD carry. You've done great this game. Keep it up, man. Keep it up, bro. You're owning. Give my AD carry a little thumbs up. Later, guy. Thumbs up. Peace out, Girl Scout. Alright. We're going to work on a lock at first. Looks like there's a fight happening mid. Oh wow, I actually got him to ult away. Interesting. Hmm. I think actually it's time to visit top a little bit and give my boy top a little bit of love. So we're going to rotate on over to this. I just need him to not kill himself. Well played, sir. I don't really have a way to do enough damage to kill that guy though. So we're just going to rotate to mid then. And then we'll probably just gank bottom again. Move my biscuits. Yeah, we'll just go back bottom then. I don't really think I can get anything done mid since I already showed. Yeah, he's like actively trying to avoid me. Let's just walk past the support. Actually, we can put him in a box. Play him in. Use a guy ignite. Just constantly hit the AD. The support right there. Nice. Oh my goodness, my AD carry is so good. You're nuts. My AD carry is nuts. That's some of that positive reinforcement that I gave my AD carry. Give my teammate his thumbs up that he so deserves. Alright, at this point in time, their, Braum, their bard went to mid lane. So this is a pretty easy opportunity for us to just get the first blood turret. Get it with that juicy demolish. Once I think the Jolner is nearby, then I'll start stepping back and looking for a lantern. But I didn't see him walk over here at all, so I didn't feel the need to. I can start walking over to this bro. I got you. So what I want to do here 
Because I mostly want to lantern him out. Alright, well, we didn't get to lantern him out. That's okay. So we're just gonna flash into the wall oh, real quick so that we don't have flash anymore. And then we'll spam ping it so that everyone knows that I flashed into the wall. Because that's what... I don't need no stinking flash. That should force his ultimate, right? Oh, nice. Alright, well, I lanterned my AD carry. Make sure you always lantern your AD carry. That way you can sneak a sis like I did. Because I'm a scumbag and I am a leech. Alright, well, we can just keep pushing this since their mid laner died. We can just go for this turret. Your smurfing is ruined. Agreed. That was the that was the straw that broke the camel's back right there. I don't know what my moon is doing. He's had to like ignite like half this game, and then I just watched him teleport bottom. That guy's wild. All right, well, we've got our sight stone completed. Our locket's done. Probably just turn this into something later. I think I really want HP right now. So, Randuin's is probably what I'm looking at. Just because I'm so far ahead. I think at this point in time, I'm just going to rotate to top. It's the only turret I haven't gotten yet. Oh, hello, Summoner. Alright, at this point in time, looks like everyone's going top, so I must go top too, because that's where the party's at. And there's no party like a little pally party. And throw a hook right here, right when they come in. Let him in. I'm pretty sure he has ultimate though, so I'm walking back to my teammate. Use locket and box. Ignite him right here. Keep walking forward. That should force his ultimate. Then we can hook him off of that. Lantern my ADC that flashed away from my lantern. You hate to see it. Let him back out of the box. Let's make sure we're eating our food. And then we hit the hook right here. Play him in. We know he doesn't have stun right now. Should actually be pretty easy anyway. Just make sure we're stepping back to avoid the stun afterwards. Mm, everyone else on the enemy team is dead, so we'll just keep hammering this turret. What's your keystone? I decided to run Unsealed Spellbook just to have Flash cooldown and Ignite. And then eventually I will change Ignite to Exhaust if I need it. I don't think it's that big of a deal, though. And probably hit a hook right here. And throw a lantern to someone on my team. Looks like nobody loves me on, the, on my team. I'll just auto-attack them a little bit. Nice, we got the kill right there. Look for the hook afterwards. Play him in afterwards. Cry because my team won't front line for me. Feels bad, man. That's okay, though. We've got Caitlyn here. He's coming in. Hot. Oh, my goodness. The way this guy moves is nuts. Get him, dude. Yeah. All right. Nice try, bro. At least they killed someone. I'm proud of my son. All right, let's start working on Randuin's. Now we'll get that. And we'll actually get the eye upgrade, just because uh, any HP right now is really valuable for me. So I want, I'm not getting HP for my Locket, which is my first buy, and my Glacial Augment, or glacial Shroud. If only you had Flash. Yeah, if only I had Flash. I agree. Alright, well, at this point in time, I'm just going to get wards in the top side because it's the most accessible location. Since we already had a ward right here and I could see what's going on. Looks like we're grouping in siege in, so I'm down with this. Looking for the support. Wasn't able to hit the hook. That's all good. I can still play aggressively, especially once the stun is missed.
All right, well, we'll just wait for the next wave to crash, and then uh, we'll look for something again. All right, let's make sure we flay everyone out. Try to put a box down. Hopefully one of my teammates takes that. All right, whatever. Make sure we juke down. Hook him back. Ignite him. Get that auto attack off. That should pretty much end his life. Nice try, bro. Better luck next time. You can probably just walk up on this. Look for a hook. Flash over the stun right there. He still has a Mumu wall. We can easily win this fight. Look for that one. Flay him in. Hope that my teammate put his keyboard on his mouse. Nice. I can hook after that. Lantern him back. Lay this guy in now. Just want to be cutting backwards. Since we're pretty low on health and mana right now. We can do dragon pretty easily. I'd like a dragon. Give me good amounts of mana and health back in these long team fights. Uh, I do have enough for the Warden's Mail, actually, if I just sold my pinks. I think that's fine, actually. We're doing a lot of grouping and sieging, and, uh, I don't really need the pinks at this current time, since Baron's not even an objective that matters. to do now on the map and actually just walk down to this I'm totally fine with walking down to this and starting to pressure with my Caitlyn seems like someone's jumping on my teammate hmm. I can't walk through the Shivana that's just silly huh seems like my teammate has killed himself and flay him out box him throw a lantern and walk a different way and look for a hook right there. Nice, got that kill. Bit difficult to get anything else done off that. I think we can kill everyone here. We're just kiting properly. Nice, was able to hook him. Put a flay through him. Good juke by my teammate. I give him a lantern. And look for the hook on that guy. Play them both back. Because at this point in time, we're mostly like trying to kite. Hmm. I'm probably dead right here. That's why I have a Christmas miracle. Damn. I should have seen that barrel coming and then used my uh, ignite. Probably could have gotten a kill there. Alright. Well, this game's turned into straight shit show, shit show fest. So, I should probably try and get everyone to group. I guess I gotta turn on my hack again. You guys' item suggestions are so troll. Hmm. I don't think I need exhaust right now still. I think we're doing good in the, the damage department. I believe my AD carry has walked down a lane and killed himself three times in a row now. I feel like that's just not fun to be like on the receiving end of. Maybe he should try not doing that. Alright, let's get some wars around the top side, because Baron is an objective on the map that we have to worry about now. Where do I want to ward? There's Lantern him away. Should just group. They have a grouped team fight. I can't imagine this game being that difficult. I feel like my Amumu is doing his hardest to not win the game, though. He's, like, always in the sideline and shit. 
It's kind of weird because what's the point of playing a Moomoo Moo jungle if you're going to do that? It's kind of a uh, vexing. Mostly just looking for hooks right now. I kind of want to be in the front lines. But I also don't want to bait my teammates into walking too far forward and killing themselves. Especially when we're making a play on the other side of the map. He's lantern him away. Look for a hook right here. Make sure we walk away from that. Can play them all away. Put a locket on him. Look for a hook. Ignite him right here. Make sure we're just putting auto attacks in him. Easy game, easy lay. Can flash flay. Nothing. Because I'm a really bad player. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Oh, looks like that guy. Is still alive. You hate to see it. Can maybe hit a hook right here. No dice on that, actually. But can walk up and just flay him. Pile drive into him. My teammate should definitely take that lantern. Ooh, nice flash. Oh, wow. I haven't seen this AD carry in a while. I don't really mind tanking right now. I have a lot of extra armor for team fights. Huh. That seems a little bit wild. I think at this point in time, we should just back off. Play him away. Oh, wow. Oh, man, I thought he'd be in range to hit that guy. So I, like, pre-casted a hook. Hmm. It's probably not worth actually staying anymore. But we probably will stay, because this is a silver game. Play him out. It's fine if I get hit. Oh, man, my hooks are not good right now. Mostly just walking up and auto attacking people. Play him forward. Put a lock in on my homie. This team fight's going fine. You can just hook whoever. I absorbed like a pretty good chunk of damage. That should be the winning fight for sure. Uh, let's get the Randuins. Let's get the Zeeks. Two pinks. They're all physical damage, so it's pretty easy to itemize against them. Just shy of mana for all, yeah. That's too bad. Actually, maybe I don't care about Zeke's. Maybe I'd just be a little bit greedy in this game. I'm kind of just, like, having a little bit of fun. Alright, here's my, like, Infinity Edge slash Dusk Blade that the chat keeps asking me for. This is the gauntlet. Can you explain how debt works? I can go negative 260 debt, and then it costs 50 gold extra to go to that debt. It goes up like, a, like the debt goes up like as time goes through. Yeah, swipe my credit card, baby. Pretty good dodge by him. You can throw him a lantern. That way you can take the ult. Nice. Then we can hit the hook. Make sure we auto attack and get that gauntlet proc. Hook again. Box him, auto attack him, get that gauntlet proc. Throw my homie the lantern. Then we can just walk up and get this. Oh yeah, big daddy. I'm gonna proc that gauntlet all over their face. Oh, we can probably hit a hook here. Let's flay him. That way he can't get anything off. Use the Randuins. Lock at both of my teammates. Doesn't really matter if I uh, get hit by that. Nice. I get some leech assists right here. Let's walk mid now. We've got a wave coming in anyway. Can just kind of hold them here. I'll look for a hook when he goes for something. Lay him in afterwards. Really good traps. Can hook again. Die to the turret shots because I have no hands. And I'm trolling. Learn how to carry with low pally as I finally feed the whole game. 
I actually bet you my whole team dies here. It's looking like that. It's looking like an ace. Whoopsie daisy. I may have rolled a little too hard. Well, they're going to get Baron off that, but I'm not really sure it matters too much. I think they're going to have two inhibitors down. Yeah, they didn't get that. Okay. Yeah, I'll just get a Bramble Vest. Hmm. Maybe this is actually a really bad buy. Maybe it's actually just better to have Warmogs or something. Now you lose this game. Alright, I think you're over-exaggerating I lose this game. Because uh, I just stole Baron and killed someone. Can't you see? Nice, nice try, chat. You thought you got away with this one. Wait, this guy's, like, doing shit. Whatever, bro. 1v1 me. On the rift. <sighs> I lose. LUL. Nice meme, bros. Nice fucking meme, bros. I lose this game. Lol. Alright, well now we just walk in with our Baron that I earned. I really like KDA, so I'm just going to go in. Randoins everyone, pop the locket, hook another person, be sad because it went into a win wall. Oh, come here baby. Alright, so those will probably be on YouTube a little later. That's how you carry on a handful of champions in Silver Elo. I'll be continuing these kinds of games every once in a while when I feel like not like playing really seriously on my account. Or maybe it's just like a bad time to queue up. Anyway guys, it was just going to be a short stream. It's like 1.30 right now.